Republican Senator Bob Corker of Tennessee. Good morning, Senator. Good morning, George. Let's try to sift through some of the rhetoric here. Your leader, Mitch McConnell, says that this bill is basically going to guarantee future bailouts. But in doing that, he's taking aim at a provision that you negotiated with the Democrats. So is your leader wrong? Well, what's, uh, there's no question that after Mark Warner and I reached agreement, the Treasury officials, the FDIC officials got involved. And there are some loopholes, George, that have been created. Uh, the fact is, though, I think we can solve those in about five minutes. So uh, what I've urged is let, let's tone down the rhetoric a little bit. The fact is this is a really complex piece of legislation. If we can come to a bipartisan template uh, that has the major provisions worked out before it gets to the floor, my sense is we'll have a very civil debate. debate. There'll be some differences on some issues. But my sense is Republicans do want to see a regulatory bill of this type come to fruition. We know that there are regulatory rules that need to be in place. We only have about three minutes here, not five, but let's try to solve this on the air. Um, okay. What's the single most important thing Democrats need to do to get Republicans like you to come along? Well, look, I think we need to sit down, George, and get back to where Chris Dodd and I were on March 10th, and we've already got language to do that. It, it's a middle-of-the-road consumer protection agency. It's uh, dealing with too big to fail by closing some of these loopholes, which are very simple. Having a sane derivatives policy, we all know that needs to be regulated. And, and George, I really believe we could do that in a week's time and get it done and come to the floor and have a great debate and have a good bill. I believe that. You mentioned these derivatives. I mean, they're very hard to explain to people, but people know who Warren Buffett is. And he called them financial weapons of mass destruction. How important is it to get some kind of regulation over these derivatives now? You heard Jamie Dimon, the banker, yesterday saying it's going to cost his bank a lot of money. It's very important to move as much as we can to clearing houses, George, where when somebody is money bad, in other words, they, they true up each day so you don't end up with the kind of calamity we had with AIG where they were hugely money bad and couldn't meet their obligations. So it's very important. I'm very supportive of that. Let's try to boil this down for the average viewer sitting at home. I mean, because this is very difficult to weed through all of the arcana of financial regulation. Try to say in a sentence or two why this is so important to everyone sitting at home watching today. Well, the fact is that, that our financial system works, causes everything in our country to work, whether it's getting a payroll check, uh, whether it's whatever you do on a daily basis. So it's important that we have a stable financial system. We cannot solve all the problems that are going to come up in the future, but we've learned a great deal from what's happened over the last two years. We know there needs to be some, some regulation to create greater safety without stifling innovation. It's important to people on Main Street. It's important to people all across our country, and I think it's something we can do on a bipartisan basis. We only have a few seconds left. You hinted at it just now. Bottom line, will there be a bipartisan an agreement on financial reform. George, I will be stunned if we do not reach a bipartisan agreement. Unfortunately, the winds are blowing. Health care has created momentum. There's a lot of things happening here that, that don't aid that effort. But at the end of the day, I think we're going to have a, a solid bipartisan bill, and I'm going to work towards that end. Thanks for sharing your, sharing your thoughts with us this morning, Senator.